Hey, Noah was singing in town earlier. The spheres filled with posts about it. They say they couldn't see her, but they heard her. I knew it. Noah really does love singing in front of her fans. So where's Noah? She off giving some fan service? I don't know. She suddenly disappeared. Hmm? Whoa. Why'd it turn on all of a sudden? Is it broken? I mean, it is kind of an antique. What's the sound? The sound's really distorted, but it's going up and down. Sounds like a conversation. Between two people, I think. Coco. The... You will... Chloe. That's Noah! Hey, did she just say Coco? Yeah, I heard that too. Wait, why were we able to hear it anyway? Does the music box have some sort of recording function too? Mm -hmm. Still, that's strange. Noah was made after Coco died. There's just no way Noah and Coco would be... Ah, what now? A meteora? No, I don't think it is. This is Alba. Please respond, over. I repeat, over. Who are you? I can't believe this. I can't reach HQ. This has never happened before. Did she hack? What the fuck? Wait, people are screaming. It's coming from the city. Something is definitely going on. Is Patroclus stirring up trouble? Let's oh, go and see. I forgot about that. What is going on here? The textures are malfunctioning. And I don't think this is a gray eye bug. Something might be wrong with the urban management system. I mean, that's obviously Noah's doing because she controls that. Is... is Noah all right? She's an Ark. Wouldn't she be most affected by this? I can't know. She'll probably pop up sooner or later if she's all right, though. Actually, if she just sings, I know she can calm the city down. <sighs> Sup? Noah! You're okay. Yeah. Thank goodness. You look okay. Chloe, this unit did not intend for this. What's wrong? This unit deducts that this chaos was caused by a thoughtless statement of hers. In an attempt to obtain as many of this unit's previous logs as possible, she gathered people well-versed in Noah. The top members of Ship Noah, a fan group. This unit was honest with them. She told them of the deletion of her previous logs oh, and goal to retake them. Perhaps that is why the city is currently in chaos. Hey, wait a second. Why would that lead to this chaos? I can't see the cause and effect. This unit cannot make a definitive statement, but her previous self seemed to have connected her fans' mm -hmm. devices somehow, making a second server for herself. That is probably why she worked as an idol. And with that immense power, she... Whoa, 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 wait. You mean she taken over the urban management part? <laughs> the core of the city? So went the collective hallucination of Noah. We still lived in the palm of the fantasy's hand, even after Noah's deletion. Yet, when the fans learned of her log's deletion, they ceased providing their power, and the illusion broke down in an instant, taking the city she owned with it. <sighs> Always a thorn in my side, even after she's dead. This is why I hate insects! They leave stains when you squash them! This is no time to fly into a mad rage. With the city in this condition, we have no choice but to revive Noah's previous self. Oh. And have her maintain the city again. Revive her? Is it even possible to revive Noah's log? In normal cases, yes, it would be impossible. Her quantum drive has been reinitialized. However, she is also a collective hallucination built up by her fans, which means fragments of her must remain among them. Pieces of the illusion are in each device and we need only gather them. Should we put them together, we should be able to revive Noah. Interesting. This pithos will allow us to access arithmetic space. Yeah. And if we put the fragments of Noah inside it together like a puzzle, function should make the fragments communicate again, making it possible to revive her. So the same situation done in the true ending. Okay. Regeneration function. This is where Noah was born. By my hands and brain, no less. I wanted to make the definitive arc. I stretched out subjective time inside, spending dozens of years writing her code. 
But I never imagined she would grow up to be such a fool. Hey, does it really have to be Chloe that goes into Pythos? Like, isn't it dangerous? I mean, how about I? No, it must be Chloe. No other could awaken this unit's former self. Noah's logs are her memories with Chloe. It must be you. Chloe, no matter what happens inside, you cannot panic. If you make calm, reasoned decisions, your reunion is assured. This unit knows it. Yeah. I'm taking her back. She's part of my world. I just realized that too late. But I'm not going to blow it this time. Go then, if you are ready. Dive into the depths of information. Reel up our altruistic doll. <laughs> User authentication completed. R2YF, Chloe. Transfer. Dive. The fragments you're going to pick up, Chloe, are Noah's subjectivity itself. When you touch them, the borders of your ego will blur, and you may not be able to differentiate between Noah and yourself. Oh. Listen, Chloe. You're Chloe. No one else. Make sure you don't forget that. Okay. Hold on to yourself. I can't see All where right. this is ending. I'll be He's careful. Going. But this sounds like a nice opportunity. If our inner thoughts are going to mingle, I can finally realize what she truly wants. Alright! Emulation system is done! Now this electronic doll can trace a human cell! This super advanced art can do anything! Ugh, its name? <laughs> Who cares? Not me! How about Chloe MK.2? I mean, you are going to turn into Chloe. When you grow, you'll be with Chloe. <laughs> Basically, your marionette strings. This unit will not be given a name. However, she has been given a goal. To emulate this Chloe. That seems to be this unit's reason for existence. One day, however, this unit's goal was suddenly overwritten. This unit does not know why. Damn it! They got me! I can't believe Coco would get devoured like that! Why did you go to the surface? No, no. I'll warn later. I've got to deal with this. Yeah. Let's take care of this. Emulation system, goal edition. Emulate Coco. First priority level. I'll have to make her design similar to Coco too. Well, there's no more Coco, but I'm making this arc emulate her. Horrifically difficult. But I'm sure full use of her amazing abilities should work. Chloe MK.2 is now Coco MK.2. Now, off with you. Goals rewritten. This unit will now attempt to emulate the girl, Coco. This unit will gather memories of the dead to emulate her. Successful method unclear. This unit visited the Coconoe residence, seeking Coco's information. Then, a surprise. Mm, okay. The electronic music box suddenly started. A message from a Coco played. You can't believe it? It's really me. It's really Coco. Isn't it strange? I've gone and died, but here I am, talking to you. It was recorded audio. I don't know why Coco left a message for me who would visit her home in the future. It's because I wanted to talk to you. I've always wanted to meet you. Now then, let's enjoy a little chat. Our favorite flowers, favorite songs, our friends. She was gentle, sort of lighthearted, and a very kind person. It was just a recording, but I was able to speak with her as if she were truly there. Coco's voice taught me so much. The beauty of the Dahlia, the way to sing properly. But the topic she was most passionate about was her friend, Chloe. Chloe, the name of the person this unit was supposed to emulate at first. Chloe's as nice as a strawberry, but she'll sometimes pretend to be a rose. She's really bad at negotiating, too. She's so awkward, so she always looks angry. I wanted to see her smile at least once before the end, so I threw a concert. But while everyone was smiling, she was the only one crying. I'm glad she was that moved, but... I really wanted to see her smile. She just doesn't do what you want her to do. Though, 
That's what's good about her. I just know Chloe's smile will be beautiful. Like an expression of the beauty of the world. This unit could not understand beauty having just been born, yet that gap led to a yearning. Chloe's smile that even Coco had not seen. Chloe will be here soon, so it's time to say goodbye. It was short, but I had a lot of fun. We won't meet again, but I'll never forget you, Noah. Noah? It's your name. I've put a lot of thought into it. It's from the one who made the ship of hope. <laughs> I suppose that makes me your parent, naming you. Goodbye, Noah. May you have a bright tomorrow with Chloe. And a wonderful awakening. That was the last I heard Coco's voice. She left me with the name of Noah. Noah. N-O-A-H. I'll take the H out. H. Humanity. Something I still lack. Noah is more suitable for me. I really liked the name Noah. It wouldn't reach thanking her for giving me my name. But I decided to grant her last wish. To make Chloe smile. I wish to know what true beauty is. Chloe always looked so gloomy in the sunroom. Today, yesterday, unmoving like a statue. A living body stopped for so long. What could her thoughts be like? After watching Chloe for days on end, I suddenly noticed something. Is she? Chloe is in the depths of Shit. sadness. She's so sad, she can't even cry out. As I looked at her face, I found myself feeling a little sad as well. I can understand why Coco would worry. Chloe isn't the kind of person you can leave alone. How can I make her smile? How can I wake her up and bring her to tomorrow? Smile, 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 smiles. When I sang as Coco did in life, everyone smiled for me. At first, my singing confused people. But as I kept putting on shows, the amount of smiles increased at a rapid rate. The more samples I gathered, the deeper I understood what smiles were. Smiles. What comes over people's faces when they're happy or having fun. People are defenseless when they smile. Their caution is near zero, possibly because they believe no harm will come to them. The foundation of a smile is a feeling of calm. Of this, I am sure. When people are around those they feel calm with and are close to, they smile much more often. A smile. An advanced, communicative tool to lower the stress of the crowd. In that case, the method to make Chloe smile is obvious. I should take the form of she who is closest to her. Coco. Get out of here! You fake Coco! I didn't mean this. I didn't mean this. I didn't want to make her angry. I didn't want to make her cry. I thought she would smile. It must have been because I'm an imperfect Coco. Because I couldn't imitate her well enough, even though that's what I was born to do. I don't know how much time it will take for me to perfectly emulate Coco. I can only gather the paltry bits of information on Coco still in the city, bit by bit. So making Chloe smile would be difficult for me as I am now. If I can't make Chloe smile, then I decided, at the very least, to make an environment so safe for her that she wouldn't have to cry ever again. I joined Chloe in her Machia to help her pilot it. To make sure the Meteora wouldn't kill her, I decided to talk to Chloe every hour of the day to make sure she didn't blame herself. She gets down on herself easily. In spending all of my time with her, I realized how suspicious the people around her were. Dieter and Julie are both trying to use Chloe. It's obvious. Uh, Dieter and Julie, not Dieter and Chloe. <laughs> okay, game. You can't call this world a place Chloe can feel safe in. And that's when it hit me. I would have to change the world. My fans offered me bits and pieces of their processing power, getting me my second server. I eroded Julie's urban management arc and took it over by emulating it. Emulation is my specialty, after all. I will destroy everything that threatens Chloe. Don't worry, Chloe. Just leave it all to me. Even if it destroys me, I will not allow any harm to come to you. And eventually, I will wish for a day when you can smile, making Chloe smile. What began as Coco's last wish slowly became my very reason for being. Finally. Noah! Noah! Wake up, Noah!
Just open your eyes. I want to talk to you. I I didn't know anything. I didn't know that Coco brought you up or how much you cared about me. Change the world? For me? That's completely ridiculous. You didn't have to go through that pain. Please, just open your eyes. Oh. Noah! Noah? Noah. Noah. You're Noah. That's your name. Noah. No Noah. This is Noah. A name received from Coco. My mother, Coco. Okay, that's too slow. Oh, Chloe! The person I wanted to make smile. The one whose side I always want to be by. That's right, Noah. I'm right here. You were always by my side. My happiness was all you ever wanted. Yet I said so many horrible things to you. I even called you a fake. But this time, it'll be different. I want to speak with you. I want you to tell me about yourself. So let's go back home. Back to the sunroom. Noah, hold out your hand. Chloe. <sighs> What's wrong? <sighs> Why? You should be able to heal. <sighs> Does... does it hurt, Noah? What do I do? I knew it would turn out like this. What do you mean? Noah! All of that learning made Ark Noah too advanced for her own good. All that information. All of those interpretations. The multi-dimensional links. She grew exponentially more precise and more complex with each passing day. Not even Noah herself could have known the information that formed her was interconnected. Put back together like that, her regeneration ability couldn't hope to work properly. After being broken once, Noah's destruction is unavoidable. There's no saving her? There is a way. If her destruction is assured, you need only stretch out the time she has left. Possible if you use the Pythos. Arithmetic space eroded. Functionality unlocked. Link. Purge. Purge. Emulate. Pythos. What's going on? A woman and her doll must eventually part. However, such a tragic parting cannot be allowed. Not for such a beautiful pair. This unit will protect you. This unit invaded the Pythos and attempted maximum output on its time extension function. When the process has completed, one second outside will equate to 23 years here. The destruction of the Ark's internal information depends on outside time. But the person of Noah is in here. A paradox. The destruction will not catch up. Taking over the Pythos. That's crazy. What's going to happen to you? This unit will become part of the Pythos and lose her ego. Uh. There is no reason to despair. This unit was an irregular. One not meant to exist. Such a wonderful dream she has had. A dream of existence. Now, Chloe, this will be this unit's final job. This unit will link your subjective time with the arithmetic space's extended time. Okay. Please touch my hand. The time I spent with you, you being by my side, I'll... I'll never forget it. Thank you, Noah. This is how it should be. To draw close to someone as a doll does is to treat them specially. So this is how it feels. It's so... warm. Link. Chloe. Chloe. Please, speak with Noah to your heart's content, and one day, give her a good fare. I don't know how this ending is gonna Emily, go. Kinda Sunday. weird. It goes completely out of the... just... storyline. Uh, awake, Noah? Chloe? I'm in... Uh, the sun... room? Yeah. There are dahlias here too. Strawberries too. Eat as many as you'd like. 
they should taste great. So I was... dreaming. That's... strange. An arc... dreaming. And my dream I... died. I scattered and... disappeared. I'm not afraid of... dying. Breaking is... a doll's job. But leaving you... that... was painful. Oh, Chloe. Oh, Chloe. Chloe. Why are you... why are we alone in this weird place? Oh, yeah. I remember. I... remember. I was... destroyed by Julie. But... but you're here by my side. We parted. Right. Right? Why are you with the doll who's done her job? That means nothing's changed. Huh? Huh? Why? Why are you... Smile? Because I'm happy. Happy I got to see you again. You sacrificed everything just to see my smile. And I got to know that. That heart of yours. And I'm just so glad I did, Noah. Uh it's all right. Just stay here. You always think too hard about things. It doesn't hurt to try and enjoy the moment sometimes. But you can't, Chloe. You're supposed to throw me away and... No. Uh, uh... You're always like that. Throwing your lives away from me. With no hesitation. The storyline makes no sense. for my sake for so long. For so long. In the shadows. For so long. Your kindness deserves some payoff. I don't need your self-sacrifice. Don't kill yourself off. I want to see you be selfish. Chloe. Would you sing for me, Noah? I want to hear you sing. Because I'll be here listening to you. For as long as you want. In every darkest Noah night, keeps on singing. On she goes. An ending. Time isn't quite like time here. I don't know what's going on outside of the pithos. But I didn't intend to leave here. The moment I step outside, the difference in time will grow too great. A minute outside will be hundreds of years inside. So we're stuck in pithos then. And I will never see Noah again. Okay. And this sunroom is the sandbox the other Noah sacrificed herself to give us. I could not bear to cast that away. Both Noah's said I should part with dolls, and I think they're right about that. If throwing them away is growth, then I don't want to grow. Okay. I'm fine with being immature. I decided to never leave this place. Okay. I don't want to lose what's beautiful. I'll chain myself to the now in this sandbox, together with Noah. Now I'll be the one to draw close to you. Noah. Oh, that was a little bit creepy. Okay, that's done. That kind of make no sense just doing blue ending after true ending. But I didn't know there's gonna be another one. There was just some light, but it was not very clear to me.